Welcome to Chat and Dish. If you've got to measure something sticky like honey or molasses, give your utensil a misting with nonstick spray. You won't have any problems. Still celebrating National Florida Tomato Month. So, we're doing baked ricotta with caramelized cherry tomatoes on top. Fantastic. Let's start off with making the caramelized tomato sauce. Slow roast two pints of cherry tomatoes in a 325 degree oven for one hour and 30 minutes. Add one quarter cup of your finest chopped black olives, two tablespoons of finely chopped capers, four tablespoons fresh basil, three to four tablespoons of extra virgin fruity olive oil. Mix well and set aside while we make our baked ricotta. Drain two pounds of ricotta in a sieve for about 30 minutes. Add three tablespoons each chopped parsley and fresh basil, cup of fresh grated parmesan, a sprinkling of salt, fresh cracked pepper. Mix well. Spread into an oiled loaf pan and bake in a 375 degree oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Our baked ricotta is out of the oven and on a serving platter. Now, last thing to do is just top it with our caramelized cherry tomatoes. Caramelized cherry tomatoes, so easy and so wonderful. If you're like me, you're going to find a hundred uses for them in your recipes. Let's pop on over and meet Chicago foodie sisters, Becky and Carrie. Now, they actually do this blog ensemble, which is absolutely the sweetest thing in the world. And they've got a recipe for a fresh tomato cucumber Napoleon that starts off with the foundation of your wonton or egg roll wrappers. Oh, and they've got a wonderful ginger teriyaki sauce and pesto that they mix into this. It's absolutely a flavor extravaganza. Do check it out on Chicago Foodie Sisters. Everybody needs a go-to family dish that even your pickiest eater is absolutely going to love. And that's exactly what Allie's Kitchen gives us with Allie's very special creamy tomato herb and wine cast iron skillet pie. Amazingly long title, very easy to make and I can guarantee your family's going to love it. I tried it, mine do absolutely. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time when we talk about two more great food bloggers and I share another family favorite recipe, I'm going to miss you.